What is the weirdest sensation that you only experienced once? Prior to my bypass surgery I had an angiogram. They basically push a thin flexible wire into an artery at your wrist and push it along until it's inside your heart. You can feel it wiggling around deeper inside your body than anything else you've ever felt. Disconcerting. Would not repeat. One time I yawned really wide and I heard a clicking sounds in my jaw. I wasn't able to close it for about 15 seconds. Most horrifying 15 seconds of my life. I was struck by lightning when I lived in Florida. It was like the hand of God was wearing one of those prank handshake buzzers and decided to grab my entire body. When I was very little my mum was reading me a bedtime story. I couldn't get to sleep and I felt bad that she'd wait until I was before she left. So I closed my eyes to pretend I was asleep and opened them again but it was somehow morning. It felt like a blink. Edit. Apparently this happens quite often for some of you. Lucky bastards. I have done this once. Literally blinked then it was morning. So weird and haven't been able to do it since. It wasn't like a deep dreamless sleep either it was actually just blink. 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 Mon ring. Oh that's weird. Exact same thing happened to me. I was lying on my side. Then blinked. And I was facing the opposite direction. It was probably the most disoriented I've ever been. My femur was broken in a car wreck. Bad compound fracture. I touched the end of the bone sticking out of the top of my leg. Burned like a remf. I lost the ability to read once. It happened when I was a teenager. I could see all the letters but they didn't make words. I went to the ER. They took an MRI and told me they thought it was a migraine due to my other symptoms. Oh. This has happened to me before. Absolutely terrifying. I also had a really bad bout of confusion I knew what I was saying didn't make any sense. But I couldn't figure out how to get it to. Seeing as how I'm always remarkably lucid when high. Drunk. Coming out from under an aesthetic ETC. It scared the crap out of me because I'd never experienced anything like it. Ended up crying while speaking gibberish. Lol. Migraines are not to be messed with. In middle school. I believe 7th or 8th grade. I remember barely getting any sleep one night. The next day I felt shockingly awake. Alert and very happy. I've never had this feeling again and it sucks because it was a great feeling. Common occurrence for me. If I've had decently regular sleep and one night I end up getting 2 hours of sleep I will be so on point the next day. Only problem is that it is not repeatable. I have to be well rested before the sleep deprivation. If I try it a second day in a row my chest hurts. I've mentioned this before. But I was having sex with my girlfriend after showering together and I had water stuck in my ear. Then right as I came. My ear popped and water came out. The combination of an orgasm and a neargasm was the most bizarre but amazing sensation ever. I tried to make it happen again. But have been unsuccessful. This will be disgusting. But once a small fly flew in my mouth and I didn't know. It was a really, really small fly though. I bit it without knowing what it was and it tasted like berries or fruit. 10 stroke 10 would eat that fly again. The extreme adrenaline rush I had when I bungee jumped. The jump was video recorded and even 5 minutes after I was released from the rope. So maybe as much as 10 minutes after the jump, you can see that my limbs are involuntarily shaking. Note, I am terrified of heights. Midway through high school. I walked out of the locker room and outside to go to pay class. The moment I stepped into the sun. Something went weird with my vision. Figuring I'd lost a contact on the back of my eye. I went back inside and looked in the mirror. Eyes were still bright blue. But one pupil was huge and the other was a pinpoint. Doctors never did figure out what it was and it never happened again. But for a while I was excused from all pay and outdoor activity. Got to wear sunglasses anytime I was in a classroom with the sun shining anywhere near my desk. And was checked over six ways from Sunday for a head injury. The first time I had an epileptic seizure, grand mal. I was 14 and just went to bed. 
slowly suffocating while having no control over my body. Must have been only a few seconds before I blacked out. But it felt like forever. I had no idea what was going on and all I could think was I'm going to die. Afterwards. I got pissed at my parents for waking me up in the middle of the night for no reason. Being totally oblivious of the seizure and the three paramedics standing over me while I was lying on my floor. A nurse body slamming on my chest trying to dislodge my baby's bum from my ribs during a c-section. Similarly. Getting cut open while numb. Having your stomach muscles torn apart and having a baby pulled from you. All very weird sensations. I'm imagining a nurse taking a run up and pulling out some wrestling move with her elbow on the chest. All this while the other doctors are cheering her on. I have no sense of smell never have and one time. I went to an end to see if they could find a reason why. He put a camera way up into my nasal cavity, to look for polyps or initis. And after a little bit. Weird. Glowing beams of light started passing across the room. After the third or fourth. I said something like. I wonder what's out there, the window, that's shining light into here. He said. Oh no. You're just seeing the camera's headlight from behind your eyes. Fainting. It was my freshman year in college. Watching a movie alone around midnight when I felt a sharp pain on my right side. Kind of freaked out and had something like a panic attack. Had a glass of water and went outside to take a walk for a few minutes. That's when I started getting tunnel vision and this made me freak out even more. I remember running into three guys I barely knew and telling them I don't feel well. The light at the end of the tunnel was gone. So was I. Had a vivid dream that I thought lasted for minutes. Then my senses came back to me. It was like a ghost hovering back to its body. They told me I was out for 10 seconds tops. I live in Canada. But one day I woke up at 3am and there was an elephant in the front yard. A real elephant. I had a very strange is this real life? Moment. And wasn't entirely sure if I was hallucinating. Doubting your sanity even for a moment. Is a very strange feeling. Here is the full story I posted earlier. I woke up to my asleep arm suffocating me. I must have laid on it for a really long time. Then when I rolled over in my sleep. It flopped over my mouth and nose. My arm was so asleep that I couldn't feel it. Or move it at all. I had to thrash around to get it off my face. TL. DR my own arm tried to heal me in my sleep. When I was a young boy my parents took me on holiday to the south of France. There was a lake on the land that our rented house sat on and a family friend had taken me down there to teach me to fish. By the end of the day I'd caught a pretty good sized fish and I put it inside an old jam jar with some water to run the two minutes back to the house to show my mum. The fish was big enough that its head was in the water but its tail was hanging out the top of the jar. As I was running up a hill a big bird swooped down and tried to yank this fish from my hands. Stupid bird failed but it was a really odd close to nature kind of feeling that I can vividly remember 20 years later. No one believed me either but the vision of big black feathers swooping towards my hand will stay with me forever. This happened a couple of years ago but I still remember it very clearly. I was walking with a group of friends in a pretty big city at night, 10-11ish, and we were all just walking and talking after dinner and some drinks. I don't really know how to describe the feeling but out of the blue. I felt an easy aff. As if I knew something was going to go wrong. That feeling lasted maybe a minute or so while I tried to tell my friends we needed to go somewhere else and split up etc. No one took me seriously. And within the next couple of minutes. We came across a couple of armed muggers who made off with a few hundred bucks off us. When I was getting my wisdom teeth out. As they were injecting the anesthetic to put me under. The dentist told me that this particular drug has a peculiar side effect. Making you itch like crazy around your crotch. As he finished his sentence. I felt the strangest sensation. Unlike any itch I've had before. Almost like something was trying to crawl its way out of me. And then I was out. To this day. I don't know if the itch was an actual side effect of the anesthetic. Or whether it makes one susceptible to the suggestion of a very strange dentist. Either way. 
That was easily the weirdest sensation I can remember experiencing. When I was a teenager. I didn't sleep for. Honestly. I don't actually remember how long I went without sleeping. But. It was to the degree that apparently I started randomly taking stuff off the dining room table and putting it all into some random bag then falling asleep on the floor. It was really weird acknowledging I was doing something like that. For no apparent reason at all. But being so out of it that my brain went on full cruise control mode. I've never had that level of cruise control mode ever again. Even while being extremely doped up on meds after a surgery. I was riding a train at night in Sydney while backpacking through Australia at one point when it suddenly derailed. The guy across from me was thrown out a broken window as though the train rolled over. People were screaming. And the train cart was engulfed in flames as it came to a stop. That's when I woke up to realize that I was sitting exactly where the dream has taken place and the guy across from me was still sitting there and in reality nothing had happened. Even the people I had dreamed about were still sitting where I had imagined them except everything was fine. I was freaked out and half convinced I just saw my future death or something. Really tripped me out and I still think about it sometimes. Really weird experience. I meditate quite often. And one time had an experience that kind of felt like my head was 100 feet in the air and electricity was shooting up my spine. After what seemed like an eternity of that happening. I experienced ego death and was just kind of nothing for a bit. Hasn't happened to me since. I had this incredible pressure in my abdomen when I was about 8 or 9 years old. I figured that it was gas building up so I tried to eke out a little fart. The sound and fury that came from my elementary school colon burst forth like an orchestral crescendo. I've never felt anything so deep or satisfying. There was one time I stayed up all night watching dumb sheet I'm sure but around 11am I took a nap. And I opened my eyes an hour and 10 minutes later and I was more awake and refreshed than I had been all week. I stayed up the rest of the day and felt fantastic and I know I'm never gonna get off that easily ever again. Leaving San Francisco to return to Scotland after living there for 2 years. Felt like I was in a movie. Watching the streets stream past on the bus out to the airport but with the most incredible swirling feeling in my head. Never been able to describe it properly. But it felt like my brain was doing this, the dolly zoom from Jaws for anyone not wanting to click. Really should be a throwaway but here goes. When I was a teenager I was right on the edge of waking up when I farted. Couldn't hear it or anything could just feel it. The feeling of my butthole slamming open and closed while not knowing what was going on was seriously freaky. One time a friend and I were waiting for a bus. She gently kicked the bus shelter, more of a tap of the foot than anything, and immediately recoiled in pain and fear, just claimed to have been shocked. Considering it was winter and we were wearing big rubber sold boots. I didn't believe my friend. So I gave the shelter a little tap of the foot as well. She was right, whatever the cause. It made our kicking legs numb for 2-3 minutes still don't understand how or why. I woke straight up from REM sleep because my phone was ringing. But when I opened my eyes to see who it was, my eyes were still rapidly moving uncontrollably left to right. And I couldn't read the phone because I was seeing everything moving. Terrifying. I went totally blind in my left eye for about 3 weeks. Got test scans done. They couldn't find anything wrong. I kept walking into people because I had no peripheral vision on my left side. After a few days I kind of just thought well. This is my life now and tried to adjust to it. Then the dark area got smaller and smaller and my vision returned to normal. That was 18 years ago. Weird. I was drunk. Then stoned. It was the first time I'd done both on the same night. My friend came up behind the couch I was sitting on and hit me with one of those wire head massager things. Not really hit me. She just used it as intended. I was basically paralyzed from the sensation. It was unexpected. And my brain couldn't process what it was but. It was wonderful. And I don't think I'll ever be able to recreate the surprise and exact mix of drum kai again. Edit. Typo. 
I woke up in the middle of the night a few years ago and needed to go to the bathroom. I got up and my legs refused to work for some reason. I was just in a heap on the floor for a few minutes until the feeling came back and I was able to get up. It was really unsettling. Having a sensory hallucination while I had scholared fever as a kid, causes very high fever. Felt the sensation of an unpleasant roughness that I was falling through. Taste and smell, smelling roughness. Weird I know, and it made me feel nauseous. I get flashbacks to it if I run my nails over something rough. Like a chalkboard. My brother-in-law and I got shot, among other people. He died in the spot but I didn't know yet since I was kind of busy trying to not die. The ambulance came and after a very long surgery. I was resting in the intensive care area when, probably because of meds, I started seeing my brother-in-law. He was there. Calm and with a slight smile. I had a quick conversation with him, aloud, in my mind, and then he was gone, as in vanished. I then knew he didn't make it so when my wife told me I thought to myself I already knew that. I told my wife about that later.